Day two, special. Let's do it. Yes, folks, welcome back to another video on the Adidas Special Spring Summer 24 Footwear Edition. Thanks for everyone who watched yesterday's video. Uh, I always think it's just good fun seeing all the feedback and the comments and things like that. Uh, the Handball Pro, I'm pretty sure it's gone down really well. Uh, but anyway, welcome back to Eric's me, Danny. Um, next day, welcome to another video. And today's video is a double video. And it just made sense to put these two shoes together because we have got the Gazelle Speciales. So, obviously, the Gazelle Special first came out uh, in the Autumn Winter 23 collection. And as you'll see in this picture here, um, I wear my green pair a lot. I think they are absolutely sensational. Um, just we all love a Gazelle, right? And these are just like a trimmed down, literally special or special version of it. Like, why would you not want that Gazelle? I just think it's like ridiculous when people say, oh, it's a Gazelle, why do blah, blah, blah. Because Gazelles are the basis for a lot of the shoes that we love as well, right? So why not have the Special Gazelle? Anyway, there's two versions again coming out um, for Spring Summer 24. And we are going to start with, not that one, <laughs> um, upside down. We are going to start with the Cream Gazelle. Here we go. Check these bad boys out. These, oh my goodness. So, like I said, two versions coming out. So this is the cream version. And I'm not going to lie, when the first, like, there were some leaked images that came out on white backgrounds. And I thought, just a cream gazelle. I was like, and I love, like I said, I love the green ones. So I was like, I can, I get it. Summery, cream, yes. Do you know, I can see why people would go for it. Probably not one for me, because like I like going to gigs and getting mashed up and stuff, and you know what I mean? Like, th these ain't gonna last long. And then, and this is what I always say, then like when Gary drops the hang tags, and all of a sudden he puts a description in and he goes, oh yeah, these are denim. And then you go, what? A, a cream denim? Oh my goodness, right? Let me have a close look at these. So, I'm gonna go straight into the details here, because look at this. These are a denim, uh, denim material uh, gazelle. Now, I just think after the denim Italia that was redone uh, by the Special team, it's kind of rekindled my love for a few denim shoes. I've kind of looked for a few more just to see if there is any. Um, the reverse Italia. But it's these kind of little details that just made me think, oh, these are probably going to be beaut. Um, so as well as a denim out so you've got uh, the eyelets that run up the eye stay uh, to give it that more it, it fits in with that denim look around there i kind of like the off-white vintage sole so you've got the white stripes on there with the gazelle special golden you've got a gum outsole on there as well which i think is pretty cool but if i'm being honest the absolute ps de resistance that got me was the denim style like a your pair of jeans. I said it in yesterday's video, I really like the labels that they're doing on the tongue at the minute and they've put it on a leather brown patch um, for this shoe and oh my goodness when I saw that detail I was like perfect and that's it isn't it right you can just get like plain and and I've said it before plain shoes are kind of the hardest to pull off I always think if there's loads of details you can mess around with like the details and, and different colourways and stuff like that simple shoes are the hardest to pull off right and just putting those little bits of details on it elevates it you, know, you change the material to denim wow you put the little eye uh, the little uh, eyelets on the uh, eye stay wow again and then the tongue man they're just perfect for me um like i said they're going to be hard to wear and keep clean i'm not going to lie but do you know like a nice summer day going on for a nice meal with the missus or a nice day or or just something where you're not going to get too messy right 
these are absolutely perfect right and then in the box uh, I've already changed it you do get uh, a white lace so you can see I've relaced uh, in here because I like this is like factory laced and this is the relace like I do with all my shoes um, you can almost see the tongue a little bit better on that as well so I'll just zoom in on there but you do get a white lace as well to match the white stripes um, a little bit like the LG 2's, the, the white version that came out almost doesn't matter which one you put in I think ever so slightly I just might like the white uh, the white lace swap again just to match in with the stripes and the heel tab uh, over the cream uh, there's not an awful lot in it, not like yesterday's handball pros which uh, like night and day there's a lot big difference with the lace change but again let me know in the comments which you like, do you prefer the white laces or do you prefer the cream ones on there but these, like I say, simple shoes are hard to get right. Um, the Gazelle Special, like I said, I, I fully rated it. Uh, like I said, the green ones get worn a hell of a lot uh, in my house. Uh, and I just think there's such a good slim down, redone. And like I said, if you haven't seen the green ones from last year, go see that review. I do talk about how many different versions kind of they looked at to um, make that shoe uh, and bring it to life. So that's the cream pair, denim. Beautiful. And there's also in this pack, check these bad boys out, there is a black suede pair. Now I know in Gary's description he says because of the Pulse Beats, uh, people love the Pulse Beat Special. Uh, I love the Pulse Beat Special as well. But I don't make any, do I, I don't try and hold back. I just don't do black shoes, right? So I knew somebody who really wanted some Pulse Beats in my size that I had. Um, so I passed them on and it's just black shoes for me are hard to pull off. I don't really wear an awful, I mean I wear black cargos I guess, but I don't really wear black shoes. So it's just not my aesthetic. However, what I will say is I pulled these out and my 14 year old boy went, oh my goodness, they are sick. Right, so that just shows what a difference can have between like age groups and tastes and things like that. But anyway, onto the uh, onto the little materials. So we have got like a nice black suede. You can see it kind of moves on there. You've got uh, the leather ice there uh, around the top. You've got suede stripes down there and the Gazelle SPZL on there and it's a suede heel tab on there you got the gum outsole uh, just like the other one uh, obviously you got the black uh, foxing around the outside on the bottom um, one thing I have I haven't pointed out uh, but I'll point out on this one if I can get my angle right um, the date on the inside look 24th of the 10 14 10 now that is on every pair this season um, obviously to celebrate the 10th year anniversary um, and I really like what Gary's done and the team because they've kind of gone yeah okay people want a black special shoe and we'll do it on the gazelle because like I say I think the gazelle silhouette uh, the special silhouette is really really strong I think it's really good so for people who might not want to wear the pulse beats because they're quite special um, I'm not saying these are but you know what I mean by that there's levels in that that's like a collectible kind of one-off um, with all the, the artwork and things like that if you want a black shoe, I mean, perfect, right? Um, black gazelles. Now, one thing I haven't done, uh, I haven't even tried either of these pairs on. You do get spare lace for these as well, but it's just black, um, and it's ever so slight. Oh, the sticker's like stuck to my finger there, so I'm done. So, the black pair, I'm sure these are just gonna fit true to size. Oh, and actually, they're really, really comfortable. So, the black pair, they're uh, true to size on there. Uh, obviously I wouldn't wear a black pair of white socks but that's just where we are at the minute and the denim pair just want to try these because just because of materials might just fit slightly differently um, I hope they should do obviously the sole and tooling is the same yeah perfect actually these are actually perfect <laughs> That is the first time I've slid them on and they're just true to size and they feel really really comfortable as well. Um, so these 100% um, 
these will be going into the rotation. Not on a day like today, because on the day of filming, it's a, a bit scummy and, and drizzly. It's more like Manchester than it is like Leeds, do you know what I mean? But uh, we'll leave that one there. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful executed shoe on the Denim Gazelle Special. Let us know which ones you like, uh, which ones would you put them, would you wear both? Uh, which ones do you prefer? Because okay, I, I do understand that there'll be people that go, mm, cream denim, that's a hard one to pull off. But let me know in the comments, which one do you prefer, cream or black? Um, and that's it for today's video as well. Like I say, uh, we've done two down, we've got uh, a three to go over the next three days. Like I said, strong start, I think. The Handball Pro, I think, is really strong, and I think the cream ones are really strong, in my opinion. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time on the Annex. Bye-bye.